what's up everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to talk a little bit more about our first family photo shoot so last week i shared our little vlog that my sister recorded for us um a little behind the scenes look at how the day went um so today i'm actually going to talk a little bit about um how we chose the outfits where we had the pictures done how we chose our photographer things like that this was actually a request from a viewer so i thought that i would talk about it um i'm sure that it would be helpful for some people so i'll start off with our outfits so colton obviously it was he was the easiest to find outfit like clothing options for but i had to make sure that i had um i guess extra options to bring with us he is a baby so he could puke or poop or whatever on himself while we're there so I had to make sure that we had extras for him so um what he did end up wearing and thankfully he did not puke or anything on himself were these little um khaki shorts these ones are actually from Joe Fresh um I of course will leave links to everything I can find down below some of it I purchased like at the end of season last year um or things I purchased recently I'm not sure but are you clapping your hands <laughs> um yeah so I got he wore these cute little khaki shorts they were a little bit big on him but they worked for what we needed them to yeah. and then with that he wore just a white t-shirt um this where's this one from this one's just from like Walmart um, you can get these like little two packs of like just the plain white t-shirts for like a couple dollars. So we have a whole bunch of these. So he just wore one of these. And then over top of that, he wore this adorable little blue and white button up. This one is from H&M, I think. Yeah, this one's from H&M. Um, it's really cute, but I honestly, I wouldn't recommend it that much because as you can see, when you wash it, it gets like ridiculously wrinkled and it has to be ironed and I just think ironing for like an infant is absolutely outrageous so it's really cute and I got it for really inexpensive but um the ironing is kind of annoying so then just for backups I also brought a, a pair of um like navy blue shorts they're the exact same as those khaki ones um just navy blue I thought that would go well with the outfit and then this actually I bought recently. We didn't bring this with us, but I thought that this would be a good option with the outfit as well. This is just a little like golf shirt, polo shirt from Carter's. Um, this actually will fit him like next year. Yeah, so a little polo shirt and I got this for super cheap. It was on clearance. So this would be a great option for his outfit as well. Okay, so next is like the dad outfit. So Kenny wore um, khaki shorts as well. These are just some khaki shorts. I don't know where he actually got these. It says Beverly Hills Polo Club, but I don't know where they're from. I want to say like Blue Notes or something like that. Um, we like, that's a store here in Canada. Um, I want to say it was something like that. You got these, but you can find men's khaki shorts anywhere. Of course, I will find some and leave them down below for you guys. So he wore these khaki shorts and then I found a, like it's Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Um, a blue and white one to match Colton's little blue and white shirt. I got this at winners which is like Marshalls um, or TJ Maxx kind of thing it's just the Canadian equivalent they're all about the same people so um, again they, they all have to be ironed and I hate ironing things so if you have to if you buy things that need to be ironed like it's so annoying so anyways um, yeah he wore this blue and white striped shirt that worked out really well and um, I think it was like $30 so that was a nice shirt and he wore it again and then for me um, what I, I'll show you what I actually wore and then I have an option as well because it was kind of my backup. So what I actually wore was this amazing white dress that I found at Marshalls. It's um, Nine West and I literally found it like two days before our photo shoot and it is gorgeous and I even got like I got a little stain on it which I'm so mad about. But it's I thought it was really neat that I actually kind of had like lines in the fabric so it kind of went with the lines in the boys outfits. So this was really cute and I thought the little tie was cute with the, the gold little yeah. things on the end. Um, so I ended up wearing this to the actual photo shoot. Um, and so when we got there it was a little cold so I actually just threw on a sweater and I will insert pictures here. Um, so for the first few pictures I was wearing the sweater. This is just like a super cheap sweater from like Forever 21. It's really old. Um, but yeah, so I just wore this little gray sweater. If I had a white one, I would have brought that, but I don't have a white cardigan anymore. I need to get one. And then my backup outfit in case Colton again, like threw up on me or something was this little, where is this from? 
um, this old navy dress. Um, it's old. I've had this for a while. I wore it to like a few weddings and I kind of retired it and just put it in my closet. But it's super cute. Um, and then I was going to use this little belt. Uh, I don't remember where this is from. I think it came with a dress that I bought one time. But it's really cute. It has this little um, bow on the front of it. So I would have worn this if something had happened to the white dress. And then as for shoes, Colton, as you guys know, hates shoes. So we didn't push the shoe issue um, for the day. We wanted him to kind of be in a better mood, so we didn't try to put shoes on him. So he was barefoot for the pictures, which I thought was kind of cute anyways. Um, and then Kenny just wore some like sneakers. Um, he is not like a fancy guy. He doesn't have like fancy dress shoes or anything, so he just wore some like sneakers that he had. And then as for myself, I did wear these shoes. These are actually just from Walmart. They're pretty old. I wear them to work usually. Um, they're just like these white little like sandals that have these little like jewels and flowers on them. They worked out with the outfit really well. And then kind of a backup option were these Massimo tar um, Target flip flops. Um, they've had these for years and I'm sure they probably have them again this year. Um, I don't have Target here in Canada so I'm not exactly sure but I will try to find them online if I can. Um, I have them in every color but I really like this like sort of gunmetal gray color. Um, and they have like the little jewels on them so it makes them a little more like fancy but I absolutely love these. They're so comfortable. I've gone through like a million pairs of these. So that's kind of like another little option for the outfits. So as for the location, um, it was a suggestion by our photographer which I'll get to in a second. Um, it was actually about an hour drive from where we live. So we left about an hour and a half before so we made sure we got there. And we actually didn't get like dressed into our clothes until we got there. So um, we actually waited and got changed there because we picked up like coffee and stuff on the way so we didn't want to spill anything. We didn't want Colton to like throw up on himself in the car seat, whatever. So we got changed when we got there so we were all ready to go. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so that made it a lot easier than trying to like worry about our outfits getting messed up. Um, it was like, I can't remember what it was actually called, um, it's like a, I will leave a link to it down below if you're local to where I live, um, but it was like a park sort of foresty area and there was like a little sort of like swampy pond thing and there, it was actually, I've never been there before, um, it, my photographer was way more familiar with the area, that's why she chose that area, um, it was beautiful. I would actually like go back there in a heartbeat just to like walk the little trails or like trails and things. So that place was great and I think what was really good about it was that it had like different types of areas. There was like sort of like a clearing with trees behind it and like I said there was like the swampy water part so there was like a little sort of like pier thing that you could like like a I guess it was like a dock. I don't know what you actually call it that we sat on for one picture. There was like a little area with like um palm they weren't like palms what are those called i don't know what those little things are called but i like kind of went inside them and held colton in there so there was lots of different like areas and different like things to take pictures of and it instead of just being in like one area the whole time for the picture so that was kind of different because we could have different like scenery i guess um and then as for our photographer, she's actually my cousin. Her name's Teresa. I, of course, will have her link down below if you, again, are local to where I live. Um, she was amazing. So she, um, I had actually put feelers out on Facebook, like, back in, like, January asking for recommendations for a photographer. Um, my last photographer and I sort of don't speak anymore, so I had to find a new photographer, and I completely forgot that she also was doing photography. So she um, messaged me and let me know that she would be willing to do it if I wanted to choose her. Of course I did. So we, um, you know, we're bouncing ideas back and forth and whatnot. So we obviously went with her and she chose the place because, like I said, she's more familiar with that area than where we live. So we were totally fine with that. We drove up to her and she did an amazing job. She was super organized. She had fantastic equipment. Um, and so it was nice to even like talk to someone who knows about cameras and whatnot. I don't have a lot of people around me that know about cameras and things. And um, so she was really open to allowing us to film as well, which was so great. I don't know if like a lot of photographers would be open to that. So we actually brought my sister and she uh, filmed with the camera that I'm filming on now. It's the Canon Rebel EOS T5. Um, so my sister filmed like pretty much like behind her while she was doing our photos. So that was really neat to, I guess, like have that experience and be able to film it and capture that. And that's kind of another suggestion that I have as well. If you do have a, like even one kid but multiples, 
maybe bring someone extra with you, like a friend or a family member who can help you with the kids as well. Even just carrying their stuff if you have to bring things with you, it's so much easier. So I would definitely rec recommend bringing someone with you, whether it's like a friend or a family member, to kind of like to help you behind the scenes. So whether it's like to, you know, help get your kids to smile, if you do want like smiling pictures of them, maybe to carry your things. Like I said, I had to take off my sweater. My sister carried that for me. So it was really nice to have like an extra helping hand to help us out if that's available to you guys. Um... And one thing that my cousin does that I really think is interesting is she talks about how she actually doesn't try to force her kids to smile. So she likes to do more of like lifestyle shooting, which I think is really great as a lifestyle YouTuber. Um, and you know, kind of show like that things aren't perfect. So it doesn't need to be everyone like sitting around smiling. So there are a few pictures, which I'll insert here, where Colton isn't smiling at all. Um, yeah, because Colton isn't the biggest smiler. He is usually, like, completely miserable like he is right now. So it was kind of nice to have real, in-the-moment photos of him rather than, like, these fake ones, you know, like, just sitting and everyone smiling. So it was a really great experience, and I'm excited to do it again. Actually, tomorrow we are doing Colton's Cake Smash. So I hope that those were some kind of, like, helpful hints for your first photo shoot if you haven't done one or if you have and you want to try to change it up um we didn't really want to be matchy matchy we didn't try to be like everyone wearing like all jeans and white t-shirts it's just not our style we wanted to be relaxed um we wanted to look like ourselves yeah so that's the video today let me know down below if you guys have any more questions i of course will leave links to everything that i can find and then maybe similar items if they're last season or whatever i'm not up in the trends um yeah so Again, let me know down below what you guys want to see from us coming up next. Um, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. We would love you guys to stick around and continue watching our videos. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked today's video. And I will see you guys in our next video. Thank you so much for watching.